Hello everybody. In this short video I'm going to explain the concept of uh, normally closed and normally open push buttons and the, the contacts which are the normal contact and negated contact or examine if closed and examine if open kind of contacts. Uh, this is because some of the students just confuse these uh, two with each other. So to explain it, I here I have in the visualization I have one normally open push button which I call it start and one normally closed push button which I call it stop. So since it is a normally uh, the start push button is a normally open one in the normal cases as far as I don't press the push button its state is off. Okay, so That's what you can see here as well. So start is fast, the value for the start is fast as far as I don't press the start push button. Whenever I press it, the value will become uh, true. Let me just yeah, modify here. So whenever I press the start push button, the corresponding value becomes true. And uh, here in the first and second rung, I have inserted two kind of contacts which control the pilot lamp 0, 1, and 0, 2. The first one is a normal contact or examine if closed contact and the second one is a negated contact or examine if open contact. And you can see that since uh, this start is a normally open one and uh, whenever I don't press it, it's open yeah, by default. So the logic for the examine if open is true. And you can see here that the negated contact gives us a true value and the corresponding pilot lamp is turned on. At the same time, the normal contact or examine if closed gives us false value, which is uh, all right because I haven't pressed the start push button. So the contact is already open. It is not closed. So that's why we have false value here. But if I press the start push button here, you can see that the pilot lamp 01 will be turned on and PS02 will be turned off. Why? Because in this case the contact is closed. So examine if closed gives us true and examine if open gives us false value. On the other hand, here for the stop push button, I have placed the normally closed push button, which means that as far as I don't press the push button, the contact is closed. So accordingly, the examine if closed will be turned will be true as far as I don't press the stop push button and examine if open will be false as far as I don't push the stop push button. That's what you can see here. So the normal contact gives us true value or examine if closed contact gives us true value as far as I don't press the stop push button and examine if open or negated contact gives us false value. Whenever I press the stop push button the logic will be changed. So now the contact is opened and examine if open gives us true value and examine if closed gives us the false value as you can see here in the uh, ladder logic code and in the visualization. Okay, so that's why whenever we are using a normally closed push button uh, as the stop push button to control the process we need to use a normal contact or examine if closed contact because as far as we don't press the stop push button we want the process to be uh, running yeah so we, we want to have the logic continuity in the uh, in the code uh, however if you use the normally open kind of uh, push button for the stop as well. In that case, we need to use a examine if open contact in the code or negated contact because as far as we don't press the push button, we want to have the logic continuity. And the, it's the other way for the start push button. So if it's a normally open push button, which is usually the case, in the code we use a normal contact for that. If you use a normally closed push button for the start, which is not uh, likely, then in that case we would need to use a examine if open contact or negated contact. Uh, okay, so I hope this will help you to understand the concept of the 
normally open and normally close push buttons and the normal and negated context or examine if closed and examine if open context. Thanks uh, for watching the video.